All right, so here's a quick overview video of the cooling mods that I've done to my uh, Hobby King Flybeam night flying plane. Pretty awesome night flying plane. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So I'll move the canopy, even though you can see that one of the mods I've done there. But the first mod I've done, and everyone should really do, is uh, I've removed the uh, the heat shrink. Well, I've cut away the heat shrink from around the ECU. Oh, sorry, ESC, not ECU. Um, yeah, because that's just there's the heat sink on one side of it. There, you'll see the flattage of the of the ESC. Um, yeah, you just cut around that so you expose the cooling surface. Because you know, what's the point of having a heat sink if it's covered in plastic? Um, so that's one thing to do to reduce the heat of your ESC, make it a bit more reliable. Uh, second one I did is I uh, 3D printed a NACA duct, NACA duct, whatever they're called, and then I uh, glued it into the canopy cover here. Um, that's a good sort of low drag option uh, for creating it, you know, uh, an air intake, and then I just obviously have cut it into the into the canopy there. You don't need a three D printer for these uh, vents that I made, the NACA vents. Uh, you could easily cut out the shape with balsa wood. Just get a template off the internet, just Google image search knack event, and then make one the scale to the right scale for your plane, and uh, just glue it in. Um, nothing fancy really, I just have a 3D printer so it makes it easy. So that creates good airflow down through the middle. A bit hard to see because it's all dark inside. Let me light it up. There you go, so I just hooked up the battery and uh, you can see it's got a good airflow down there past the ESC and then that'll just exit down through the holes that are under the stock tail um, mount. This is the rear. There's a few holes along the side of the uh, fuselage and a couple of holes where you access the elevator and rudder servos. I might actually add later another scoop to this to improve uh, the air that gets drawn out of the fuselage. You can see there's decent intake for the cooling of the motor. You get air straight into the motor here at the front and air through the side po pockets here, but there wasn't sort of the best hole through. Um, that traveled through under the motor into the rest of the fuselage. So what I've done is sort of create the motors. I've created a bit of the motor's own um, exhaust vent here by sort of flipping a knacker duck upside down in reverse. And uh, just because I printed a couple for experimentation. And um, so because of the way the air flows over this, it creates a vacuum behind here and that draws out the air from this motor, the, uh, the motor cavity and the cowling here. So it should create a really good uh, cooling airflow through the motor. And that's what I, like I said before, that's what I'll probably do around here. I might modify this hatch and add another scoop, a rear facing scoop to create a vacuum behind it that will suck air out the rest of the fuselage. It gets quite hot in there. Um, you know, these foam planes are like a, they're like a esky really. <laughs> Uh, very good insulator, not great for cooling if you don't have any airflow. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you guys next time.